Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's fun video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a Jack Skellington surprise fold. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our surprise fold, let's begin by folding our paper. I'm going to take my paper, I'm going to line up the corners and give it a nice fold right down the middle here. Next, I'm going to line up the corners one more time. I'm going to give it another fold right down the middle here. Next, when I open it up, I've got these nice little guidelines that show me where I need to keep the inside of my drawing. And I'm going to turn my paper like this so I can open it up for a nice surprise. Now to start off with this, we're going to draw the top of Jack Skellington's head. So I'm going to begin here, and I'm going to draw a line that's just going to come up and down like this. Big sad face. Next, I'm going to bring this down, and then we're going to come up like this. Now, inside of here, I want to draw the eyes. So I'm going to begin by making a big circle shape like this. And then over here, I'm going to leave some space, and I'm going to make another big circle shape just like this. I'm going to draw a little line that just kind of comes down on each side. Then I'll make a little sad face. And I'm going to put two little black dots inside each one. Next I'm going to make two little bumps right above here for some eyebrows. Then starting here, I'm just going to make a big smile. Now let's draw some details down here. I'm going to begin by drawing a line that comes down on each side. And then I'll connect it right here for the neck. Right here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go up and down, and then up and down. I'm going to bring this down on each side, and then I'll come down and then up here. Next, I'll make two little triangle shapes inside of here for the eyes on his bow tie. Now starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come out and then back. Another one that comes out and back. And then one more that comes out and back. Same thing here. I want to make one that comes out and back. Out and back. And one more out and back. Next, starting here, I'm going to draw two lines that come down. And then I'm going to make two lines that come down here. And the line's going to go out, in, and down. I'm going to go out, in, and down. Then I'll make a line here and a line here for the arms. Now my next step is to open this up and draw the inside. Now when I open it up, I have two halves of my Jack Skellington. So the first thing I want to do is I want to connect both of these lines. So I'm just going to bring this line down to here. And then I'm going to bring this line down to here. Now starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go down. I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to go down and then up to here. Next, I'm going to bring this down, I'm going to curve this around, and then I'll bring this line down and connect it. Next, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that goes up and down, and then up and down for a tongue. 
And then right across here, I'm gonna make some little lines that Jack Skellington has on his mouth. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm not going past the fold on either side or else they'll be showing. Now, once I have it open, I wanna add a couple little details in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna add Zero, his dog, over here. So I'm going to begin by making an oval shape for an eye and then a smaller oval shape right here. I'll make a line that comes up to a point and then we're gonna come down and up in a smile. We're gonna come down and then up for a mouth. Next, I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna bring this up and we're gonna come up here and then down for the head. I'll make a little circle, half circle shape for the collar. Then I'll make a line that's gonna go down, kind of wavy, and then back up. Same thing here, kind of down and then up. Next, I'll make a circle with a little rectangle on top for his little pumpkin nose. I'll draw two sad faces for some eyebrows. And then I'll draw a little wiggly line here for an ear. And I'll do the same thing here, just a little wiggly line for an ear. Now, over here, I'm going to draw a pumpkin. So I'm gonna make kind of like the pumpkin that we see in the movie. So I'm just going to begin by drawing a line that's just gonna curve up and down. And then I'll do the same thing here. I'm just gonna curve up and down and then just connect it to here. I'm gonna make a line that's gonna come up, over, and down. Now for the face, I'm gonna draw two little lines right here. Then I'm gonna bring them down and across for some like angry eyes. I'm gonna make a little triangle shape here. And then I'm gonna make some little pointed lines right across here. And another set of pointed lines that just go right across here for the mouth. And then I'm just gonna draw some lines that come right down through this. And it's okay if they go through the stuff because I'm eventually gonna color all that in black. Now the last thing I wanna draw in here is I'm gonna put something inside of his mouth. And I'm gonna kinda make it look like the famous little moon shape in there. So I'm gonna start right here by just drawing a big circle shape right inside of here. And then I'm going to start here and I'm gonna draw a line that's gonna go up. It's gonna come down and curl around. And then I'm just going to do that same thing. As I bring this back, I'm gonna make it get bigger and bigger. And there you go, there is your drawing of Jack Skellington and a surprise fold. When I have it all closed up, we have a simple little face. And then when we open it, we can see every all the details in there and his mouth is wide open. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.